It's safe to say that it hasn't gone according to plan for a guy like Cleveland Farrell, who is a former or a for, Let's try that again. A former fourth overall pick uh, a couple years ago. And, you know, you liked everything you saw. You liked a guy that was coming out, uh, looked like he was going to be the next good edge rusher, or at least, you know, a little bit of a hybrid uh, back in the 2019 NFL draft. And, you know, coming out of Clemson, what did he have, like 11, 11 and a half sacks coming out of it? And I was excited. Um, you know, I was a guy that uh, I was I was saying, hey, paint me excited because I, I do think he is going to be one of those guys that um, could be really interesting. You talk about a six foot four, 270 pound defensive end. Um, you love it. You absolutely love it. Uh, but this year, you know, and throughout his career with the Raiders, it just hasn't quite panned out. Uh, and But I, I do think a little bit of that is, you know, scheme fit. Also, fourth overall, I don't know. Like, I just, I think it was a little bit rough, a little bit rough for him. But and, and it looks like I don't think they picked up his fifth-year option either. So I, I think there's a lot to go on here in terms of what you want to do next with a guy like Cleveland Farrell. But at the same time, can we also just kind of just, like, can we just, Acknowledge the fact that this uh, could be kind of an exciting time for a guy like Cleveland Farrell with, with the new coaching staff, with a new, uh, you know, in a new scheme, a lot of different things going on. Like they could legitimately uh, find a way to revive this man's career. Like uh, when you talk about all the new things uh, that they're going to bring in with Patrick Graham and all the different defensive fronts, and you know, I'm I'm excited. Uh, I think. I, and to my recollection, I think he's got a fifth-year option, um, and I, I think they declined it for this uh, his fifth-year option. So, uh, which would have made him, I think, make what like like eleven million dollars. So it was it was a little bit wild. But when you're talking about a guy, uh, you know, that could come in and potentially do something big for you, uh, you know, towards the end of his career, that again hasn't quite panned out. I think it could be it could revive it to a degree. When we talk about you know this year, you know he's going to probably have about uh, I think he had like a five million dollar signing bonus. I, I think he's got a total cap of, of just under ten million dollars. So look at moving forward, he's not going to have that kind of a cap hit moving forward. We know that, and he might not even be with the Raiders this, this coming uh, uh, this next year. But he's got a season. He's got a season where he can come back in a new scheme, and we talk about he's not going to be a starter. You got Chandler Jones, you got Max Crosby. He's not going to be a starter, but Patrick Graham uh, is going to bring a three-four. He's going to bring a four-three to this defense. You know, a lot of defensive fronts, a lot of shifting pieces. Cleveland Farrell has a role with this team. Let's let's get that established right now. And again, you know, uh, I, I think it's really easy to see that uh, we we've covered it again. It hasn't gone according to plan. We're talking about a guy that has eight career sacks in um, you know in three years with the Raiders. So it's it's not great. I understand that. But we're talking about a guy that six four two seventy can play a little bit of edge for you, um, and you can do a lot of different things with a guy like Cleveland Farrell. I still think you know again the whole fourth overall pick thing. I don't know. I don't know. But. A guy that has his intangibles, that has his, um, you know, that has his tools rather, I think could do a lot of things. Uh, and especially with a guy like Patrick Graham, this could revive his career in terms of probably with another team where he is that, you know, that second tier edge rusher that comes off uh, that can provide you with a little something. Not expected to start, you know, every single game or not expected to uh, be the premier pass rusher because. I don't think that's his game. I don't think that's what uh, a guy like Cleveland Farrell is going to bring to your team. But he's a guy that I think, you know, you could sign coming up in a free agency. And after a year like this, I think, now what does it take to revive it? I think he needs at least five sacks this year um, when we talk about uh, not just coming off the edge. Again, he's going to come out of the, up the inside. I think that could be really interesting because when you play – a, when you play the inside with speedy guys, it's tougher for uh, offensive linemen to be able to get after him. He's got enough weight to not be, you know, thrown around. He's got enough things going for him that I, I really don't think that um, it's a bad fit when you talk about moving him to the inside uh, on a four three or a three four. Like it could be interesting on third, you know, pass uh, on pass downs on third and long. Hey, third and fourteen, go get him. You know, just pin your ears back, win with speed against. You know, don't don't bull rush these guys. They they are three hundred and thirty pounds. You'll get eaten. So uh, at this day, you know, he he could hold up. A the run game too by the way but i think at the end of the day you've really got to do uh your due diligence and at least trying this man at different spots because you know it's the job of the coaches and we've covered this at nauseam to put different players in their best position to be successful and if you could put cleland farrell with a one-on-one -on -one matchup with a heavy set guard that's a little on the slower side or a center that's the has the same kind of um you know that's heavy set as well and not as quick i like that matchup i i like that matchup that's a, that's a matchup i think you could win with and plus 
if you can get him and then do all these different things with all these other guys, like they'll not, they're not going to be able to key on anybody. Like they will have to like every offensive line that plays against the Raiders will have to know who they're who they're head up against, and they'll have to block block them all like they are potentially all pros. And I think that does a lot for uh, the rest of your team as well. I know we've covered it about plugging up the middle of the video we did the other day, but Cleveland Farrell. I think he might be able to revive his career with the Raiders, and I'm really excited to see what he does uh, because, you know, again, I think he's he's playing right now for uh, a spot with another team. I think, you know, fans, and I, I get the hate. I, I, I get the, um, you know, I feel bad for him a little bit because I, these guys are people, So, but at the end of the day, he hasn't gotten it done. But, I mean, he could revive his career. He could be a, a, an integral piece to another team's edge rushing or inside rushing uh, attack, and I think that's going to be uh, kind of his main focus this year is finding a role um, with this team and just trying to blow it up. Uh, and I I think he can absolutely do it and i think he can revive his career with the las vegas raiders but let us know what you guys think make sure you guys like and subscribe down below leave a like and a comment it helps people find the show we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully awesome we love every single one of you in the description down below you find all of our social media platforms give us a like and a follow there also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. let us know what you guys think about cleveland farrell potentially potentially reviving his career with the las vegas raiders